Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our lecture today is about parasite Schistosoma hematobium, which is the parasite of urinary system. Objectives of our lecture to identify the common name of urinary system parasite, name of disease, geographical distribution, and habitat. Define primary habitat and secondary habitat. Describe the morphology and anatomy of male, female, and ova. Understand the mode of infection. Describe the life cycle. Discuss pathogenesis of the disease. Explain the methods of diagnosis. Define epidemiology and explain it. Describe the treatment. Define prevention and explain it. Common name of this parasite is bladder fluke. Geographical distribution in Africa and in the Middle East. Name of disease Schistosomiasis hematobiae or urinary schistosomiasis. Natural habitat in venous plexuses. Male. Adult male is about 10 to 15 millimeters long. Has deep groove called gynecophoral canal. محمل الأنثى هذه القناة تدعى بمحمل الأنثى in which adult female typically found male has many small nodules or tubercles ثآليل on the dorsal surface and many tiny spines on the suckers as we mentioned before there are two types of sucker oral sucker and ventral sucker, which is also called acetabulum. These tiny spines could be found in the oral sucker, ventral sucker, and inside the gynecophoral canal on the ventral side of the body. Male has four to five small spherical testes behind acetabulum. In this image, we can see the male. This is the oral sacar and ventral sacar or acetabulum in the ventral surface of the body. These suckers surrounded by tiny spines. Also, these spines could be found in the gynecophoral canal. While the dorsal surface of the male has nodules or tubercles. Male is shorter and wider than female which is larger and more slender than male. This is the oral sucker and ventral sucker of the female. This is another image show oral sucker and ventral sucker of the male. And we can see this small spherical testis behind the stabulum. While this is the female in the gynecophoral canal of the male. As we said, female is larger, smoother, and more slender than male. Ovary located at the half of the body posteriorly and uterus long containing 20 to 30 eggs.
these are the eggs in the uterus. Holding the female in the sex canal of the male enables the female to extend its anterior portion into the smaller venous to deposit its eggs. Hypermotility of the parasite causes blood vessel to rupture and discharge eggs into surrounding tissues. Egg of Schistosoma hematobium can be found in the urine of infected host after 10 to 12 weeks from skin penetration by cercaria. We can see the egg in this image by light microscope with the using of normal saline. Eggs are large, elongated, has terminal spine, transparent. At the time of oviposition, the eggs are immature, but when shed from tissues, they become embryonated, which contain embryo, miracidia. This is another image of the egg. As we said, it is elongated with terminal spine. This image is real image taken by electron microscope. Life cycle. The life cycle of this parasite begin with the entering of infective stage of the parasite which is called cercaria. Cercaria of schistosoma hematobium or schistosoma japonicum or schistosoma mansoni Cercaria consists from oval and elongated head and bifurcated tail. Bifurcated tail. It is the infective stage of the parasite. Penetrate skin. of a swimmer and through circulation complete its life cycle. After entering the body, circaria leave its tail outside the body and called schistosomule. This schistosomule through circulation go to lung heart and liver stay in the liver and mature to adult fluke adult males and adult females After this stage, adult males and females migrate to their natural habitat, which is in the venous plexus of a bladder. Females begin to discharge eggs. We can see the eggs in the urine. As we said, after 10 to 12 weeks from penetration, the skin. Eggs need aquatic media. 
after three days, Mira Cydia hatch from the eggs and swim in the water with the aid of Celia surrounded it and need to find the first intermediate host which is Snell Bulinus to penetrate this Snell tissue this should be happened in one day after penetration snail tissue miracidium will complete its life cycle and convert to the larval stages of this parasite miracidium give successive generations of sporocyst first and second generations of sporocyst then circaria in one month after forming circaria it will leave the first intermediate host and need to go to the definitive host which is human in about four to six days after liberation from snell bulinus or else it will die and then complete the life cycle as we said sexual maturation is attained after four to six weeks of initial infection a female generally lays about 500 to 1000 eggs per day and the lifespan to this fluke is about three to four years female only leaves the male briefly for laying eggs the embryonated eggs penetrate blood or mucosa using proteolytic enzymes aided by their terminal spines and by the contraction of the bladder itself the enzyme is a toxin specifically for damaging the tissue فاذا بمساعده هذه الثلاث عوامل ممكن يحدث الاختراق للبلادر ميوكوزا under normal situation the eggs released into bladder don't cause pathological symptoms eggs often fail to penetrate bladder mucosa and remain trapped in a bladder wall produce the lesions by releasing their antigen and provoking granuloma formation involving T cells macrophages and eosinophils in the final stages of the disease the pathology is associated with collagen depositions and fibrosis pathogenesis and symptoms the course of infection is often divided into three phases or three stages first stage is migratory phase when circari penetrate and migrate through the skin this is often asymptomatic but in sensitized patients it may cause localized edema and pruritus maximum in 24 to 36 hours and disappear in four days or less hemorrhage at the site of penetration transient toxic and allergic manifestations malaise fever migration of the fluke through the lung cause cough hemoptysis and pneumonitis acute hepatitis could be occur after developing schistosomes in the liver 
Number two, acute phase, which occur when the schistosomes begin producing eggs, characterized by pyrexia, malaise, myalgia, articaria, hematuria at the end of maturation, and sometimes dysuria, liver tenderness, lymphadenopathy. Eggs cause damage to the tissues of the urinary bladder, including inflammation or scarring, and tariq terminal spines. Number three, chronic period or chronic phase. Occur in response to the cumulative deposition of the eggs in the tissues and the host reactions that develop against them. Not all the eggs laid by the female successfully penetrate bladder wall. Many are swept away in the circulation and become trapped in the organs. إذن لو لاحظ وجود three pathways to the eggs. The first pathway, as we said, eggs penetrate bladder mucosa with the aid of terminal spine with the secretion of proteolytic enzyme, with the contraction of the bladder itself. This is the first pathway. The second pathway, no, the egg failed to penetrate bladder mucosa and penetrate bladder wall and trapped in the bladder wall. The third pathway, the can't penetrate bladder wall and swept away through circulation to the organs and become trapped in the organs. Secretions of the contained miracidia lead to abscess formation around them and liberated into the lumen of affected organ. Eggs become surrounded by inflammatory cells forming larger granulomatous reactions, which are called polyps. Granulomas, which develop at the site of maximal accumulation of the eggs, destroy it but result in fibrosis of host tissues. Hematoria and progressive disruption of the bladder wall may lead to bladder cancer. Bladder calcification, secondary bacterial infection in the urinary tract, hydronephrosis and renal failure. Hepatic parenchymal damage is unresolved after successful treatment with the praziquantel, which consider the drug of choice. Hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, and the most common form of this infection is hepatosplenic schistosomiasis. Portal hypertension, resulting from the obstructive liver disease, lead to esophageal varices, the in Marie, which may bleed. Cervical cancer, teratoma, which is a tumor of gonad, lymphoma, rectal carcinoid tumor, cerebral manifestations, includes speech difficulties, transverse myelitis, encephalopathy with headache, visual impairment, delirium, alhadayan, ataxia, which is the lose the control of movement. Diagnosis, including medical history, 
and physical examination through inspection exam, palpation of the abdomen, auscultation with stethoscope. Inspection exam for detection the articarial rash. Maculopapular lesions may be present where the cercari penetrate the skin. Discrete erythematous raised lesions that vary in size from 1 to 3 centimeters. Palpation, yes, palpation of the abdomen, hepatomegaly, and in about a third of patients, splenomegaly may be detected in this way. Auscultation at the somewhat with a stethoscope of the lung frequently detects dry or moist during the acute phase. Number three, laboratory investigations, including urine examination for detection of schistosoma hematobium X, full blood count, eosinophilia, could be detected in this uh, infection with a chronic schistosomiasis. More than 80% of patients have eosinophilia. Eosinophilia في الطور الحاد من الإصابة بالأكيوت إنفكشنز عادة العدد الطبيعي للخلايا الحمضة الموجودة بالبلاد تتراوح من 100 إلى 500 خلية حمضية لكل مايكروليتر من الدم ولكن في حالة الإيوسينوفيليا نلاحظ أعداد الخلايا الحمضة 500 إلى 1500 خلية حامضية لكل مايكروليتر من الدم الإيوسينوفيليا ممكن يكون التحري عنها في حالة الأكيوت إنفكشنز في حالة الكرونيك إنفكشن وشيستوسومايسيز ممكن يكون التحري عن الأنيميا والثرومبوسايتوبينيا الأنيميا طبعا الأنيميا itself ما نقدر نعتبرها كديزيز ممكن المال نيوتريشن يسبب الأنيميا ولكن في حالة الإصابة بالشيستوسوما ممكن تكون إنديكيتر الأنيميا هنا ممكن تكون إنديكيتر على الإصابة بالكرونيك شيستوسومايسيز يا أما يحدث قلة في أعداد الـ RBCs أو قلة وجود الهيموغلوبين داخل كرية الـ RBC اللي تصنع بالبون مارو بالنسبة إلى الثرومبوسايتوبينيا الثرومبوسايت اللي هي نفس البليتلتس الأعداد الطبيعية للبليتلتس فهي 150000 إلى 450000 صفيحة دموية لكل مايكروليتر واحد من الدم من 150 ألف إلى 450 ألف إذا قل العدد عن ال 50 ألف صفيحة دموية إذا قل العدد عن 50 ألف صفيحة دموية فهي تعتبر الثرومبوسايتوبينيا ممكن تكون هذه إنديكيتر على حدوث الدامج بالسبونج تيشيو أوف بون مارو اللي تصنع بهذه الصفائح نظرا لان هذه الاصابه في كثير من الاحيان تؤدي الى الليمفوما او اللوكيميا فبالتالي تحطم البون مارو اللي تصنع به الار بي سيز واللي تصنع به ايضا الثرومبوسايت سيرولوجيكال تيست سيرولوجيكال تيست also can be used if we can see eggs in urine sample Rectal or a bladder biopsy for eggs identification may be performed 
if a stool or urine are egg negative, but schistosomiasis is still suspected. In this case, we use the cystoscopy. هي عبارة عن thin tube provided with camera and light يتم إدخال هذا التيوب عبر اليوريثرا ويقوم بسحب اليورين ثم يعبر إلى البلادر ويقوم بالتقاط الإمجز أما إذا كان المراد من عنده هو عمل بايوبسيز من البلادر تشيوز فيكون مزود بسيرجيكال انسترومنت لأخذ الأنسجة من المثانة يتم فحص هذه الأنسجة لغرض الفحص أو تشخيص وجود الأوفا أو وجود البلادر كالسيفيكيشن راديولوجي chest x-ray pulmonary infiltrates are common in acute cases abdominal ultrasound Detect the extent of liver and spleen pathology in intestinal schistosomiasis. Pelvic ultrasound detect the extent of bladder, urethral, and renal pathology in urinary schistosomiasis. Epidemiology. There are three factors for transmission of this parasite. Number one existence of the intermediate host, which is nail polinus. Number two, prevalence of infection with this parasite, particularly among young boys who swim in polluted water. Number three, extension of irrigation throughout Africa and the Middle East from infected to uninfected areas. Treatment. The drug of choice is praziquantel, used with a dosage of 40 mg for each kilogram taken orally single dose for 1 to 2 days. It is safe and low cost and highly effective. Prevention and control. Avoid swimming or bathing in fresh water in countries in which schistosomiasis occurs. Only swim in the sea or chlorinated swimming pools. Number two, boil or filter water before drinking as the parasites could burrow into the lips or mouth if man drinks contaminated water. Number three, avoid eating food that washed in untreated water. Number four, reduction of human water contact. Improve sanitation by proper waste disposal. احنا ذكرنا باللايف سايكل انه الاوفا تحتاج الى الاكواتيك مير. ميديا اللي هو الووتر عند عدم وجود هذا الاكواتيك ميديا فبالتالي this egg can't complete its life cycle eradication or reduction of snail population through the use of molasticide مبيدات الرخويات او مبيدات النوائم development of vaccine to induce immunity Modification ecology of the snail habitat. Biological control through the introduction of competitor snails into the snail habitat. A typical drug is niclosamide, 1%, used as a lotion on the skin before going in water, reduces the chance of infection. This is our lecture today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.